Hey guys, what's up and welcome back! Today's quick video will show you how to install and play the classic game Quake on your Oculus Quest wirelessly without a PC. Yep, it's fully possible and it works great with head tracking, 6 degree of freedom Oculus Quest controller tracking together with room scale support. Quake has never been so scary and immersive before and this is something you need to try, especially because the shareware version of the game is free to download, including the first episode, which is basically 25% of the full game. The PC version of Quake has been ported by a guy called Dr. Beef and this is all thanks to him, so make sure to give him some love on the GitHub page and support him in any way possible. You do not need a PC to play Quake on your Oculus Quest, but you need a PC to install it and don't worry, I will guide you step by step, it's very easy. You can also install some high definition texture pack to improve the graphics and you can of course play the full game on your Quest if you have purchased it from Steam or any other platform and I will show you how to do that. Now before we get started, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video and hit that bell button as well. A big thanks to all my Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commander Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. So I will try to wrap up this quickly and just tell you how Quake works on the Oculus Quest. It is amazing, it looks great for being a more than 20 year old game and the HD or high definition texture pack makes it even better looking with some more details on the walls and the objects. The game supports full room scale tracking so you can walk around in the game, but most of the movement is of course made with free locomotion using the left Oculus Quest controller thumbstick. Now here comes something very important to all Oculus Quest users. Quake is a very fast game, the movements in Quake are really fast as you're basically running all the time, so make sure you have some stable VR legs or in other words, this may not be for VR beginners because you could easily get motion sick by all the fast gliding movements in VR, but once you get hold of this and you get used to it, I promise it will be a blast. So as you maybe know, all the weapons in the original Quake game are only held with one hand grip, so you cannot do two hand grips here either. In fact, you don't even have a second hand in the game, so your left hand is used only for the thumbstick movement in the game and menu interaction. The weapon or hand tracking is basically 6 degree of freedom and you point in any direction with your right hand. I have to say though that the weapons are somehow constantly aligned to your body in a way I cannot really explain, so it may look a little bit awkward from the beginning, but it really does feel like real 6 degree of tracking and you get used to this very fast. The weapons could also look a little bit too small in scale, but that will probably be fixed in later versions coming up. All the needed buttons on your Oculus Quest controllers are correctly assigned from start and you can shoot, jump and do all the interaction without any problems. The field of view of the Quake game fills almost your entire field of view in the Oculus Quest. Well almost, it's not full field of view though, I would say it covers around 90% of your viewable area, but you will forget that fast once you jump into the game. Full field of view or not, this Quake version for Oculus Quest feels like any other VR game, more or less. The sound effects are great and I could not hear any problems with the sounds, no delay or lag at all. The performance is great on my Oculus Quest even with the HD or high definition texture pack. I saw a few dropped frames here and there during some intense action, but that's probably because I was recording all this at the same time, which is of course using some extra CPU or GPU power of the Quest. So you can play the Quake game on your Quest for free as a shareware version including the first full episode of the game, which is roughly 25% of the entire game, but you can also run the full Quake game on your Oculus Quest from Steam or any other online shop if you buy it for just a couple of bucks. The free shareware version is actually included in the Quake version we will install in just a few seconds and yes, it's fully legit, so don't worry. So now when you know how Quake works on the Oculus Quest, let's get to the point on how to install it on your Quest and get it running. 
First thing you need to do on your Oculus Quest is to enable developer mode. You do that inside of your Oculus application on your smartphone. To enable the developer mode you need to first apply as a developer on this website. However, it's free and simple to do and everyone can do that even if you're not a developer. I will leave you a link in the video description to this website. Go to the website on your PC and make sure you're logged in into your Oculus account here. Now set a random name for your organization, click accept and you're basically done. Now you can enable the developer mode in your Oculus smartphone application. Don't forget to plug in your Oculus Quest now into your PC with the provided USB-C cable. Now let's download the necessary files. The ported Quake game made by Dr. Beef is called Quake Quest and it's available on Dr. Beef's GitHub page. I will provide you with the link to the GitHub in the video description down here below of course and make sure to read about all the latest improvements and features of Quake Quest. I'm sure there will be updated versions coming soon. Now download the APK file in a temporary folder, for example on your desktop. Next we need the SDK software tools to be able to install or sideload the Quake APK file on your Quest. I have shown you this many times before in my previous videos, but simply download the zip file from the website in the same folder as before. Of course, I will give you a link in the video description. Now go to the folder, extract the software tool zip file as I'm doing here and move the Quake Quest application file to the new folder you just created. Enter the folder and now hold shift key on your keyboard and right click anywhere inside of that folder. You will see an option called open windows powershell. Now click on it and the blue powershell window will open. Next, type this and see if your Oculus Quest is connected and ready. If it says something about unauthorized, you need to put on your Oculus Quest and accept the authorization inside of VR. Once you're done, now type this, then copy the file name of the Quake Quest APK file and right click to paste it in. The whole line should look like this. Hit enter now and Quake Quest will be fully installed on your Oculus Quest. Basically you're done now and you can just unplug your Oculus Quest from your PC, start off the game inside of your Oculus Quest by going into your library. You will find the Oculus Quest under the tab unknown sources and this is all you need to do to play the shareware version of Quake on your Oculus Quest. But if you want to install the high definition texture packs for some better graphics and also unlock the full game then keep watching. To enable to install the HD textures or run the full game you need to begin by starting the game once at least on your Oculus Quest and quit it through the in-game menus. This will create a folder on your Quest that we need, otherwise this will not work and we cannot go further. Ok, so when you have started the game once and quit it, now we will download the HD texture pack. The easiest way that I recommend is to head over to the YouTube video made by Ramarcus covering the Quake on Oculus Quest, I will give you the link in the video description. In his video description you will see the link to the HD textures on his Google Drive. And let's not forget to give a big thanks to Ramarcus for the early video. Now download the zip file in the same folder again as before. Go to the folder and extract the zip files like this. You will have three needed files in the new folder. We need to copy these files into your Oculus Quest. Browse to your Oculus Quest now and you will see a folder called Quake Quest. Enter it and move on to the folder called ID1. Here you need to copy the three HD texture packed files. These files are big so it might take a moment to copy them over. Once you have done that, you're ready to start up Quake on your Oculus Quest again and play Quake with high definition textures and better graphics. Now if you want to play the full game of Quake, make sure to buy it first and install it on your PC. If you have the Steam version of the game, go into the folder where the game is installed and just do as I'm showing you here and you will see the installation directory made by Steam. Next locate the two pack files from the Quake installation folder inside of the ID1 folder and copy these two files to the same ID1 folder on your Oculus Quest just as you did with the HT textures. Next time you start up the Quake game on your Oculus Quest it will include the full game with all episodes and not only the first one as you had in the shareware version. Now I hope this video was helpful for you guys and please let me know what you think about Quake on Oculus Quest. Give it a try for free or buy the full game on Steam and enjoy one of the most classic PC games ever made now wirelessly and in VR on your standalone Oculus Quest VR headset.
Thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe and leave a like on this video. If you appreciate my content, please consider joining my Patreon as well to support me further. A big thanks to all my lovely Patreon supporters and a special thanks to my official sponsors on Patreon, Commando Darklight, Art Armin and VR Ambassador. Cheers guys!